Welcome back to the Epinexa YouTube channel. Thank you as always for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to add items, categories, modifier group, and uh, make a mass amount of changes to your inventory directly from the Clover dashboard. So if you're on the home screen of the dashboard like we are here, you're going to navigate on the left side over to inventory. Once you select on inventory, the first option that's going to pop up is items. So to add an item, you click the big green button that says add item on the top left. Then we're going to put in the item name. Let's go with sneakers. You're going to put in the price of the item. Let's say is $50 and we're going to hit continue. Now, once you click on continue, it's going to take you to the item profile. Uh, a couple things to go over here. Number one, you want to make sure that show on POS is turned on. This is an example of it turned off. This is an example of it turned on. Um, price, uh, you want to make sure obviously you put the price in and then the pricing type, whether it's fixed, variable, or per unit. Obviously with sneakers, it would just be a fixed price. Then check, make sure you have any of your taxes preset on here. Make sure that is checked off. If you have default taxes turned on to, let's say, New York State sales tax or your specific state's tax, that'll automatically go on for you. If you want to change the item color, so it changes the little color tag in the um, on the actual Clover POS, any of those devices, you can just select a color there. And if you're showing online, make sure you click the box that says show online and enter a description description can be basically whatever you want it to be and then you would scroll down once you scroll down just click on modifier groups any modifier groups you would like to attach to this item you can do that from here just make sure you click save and applying it to a category same thing just make sure you click add and then apply to that specific category make sure you click save and that is how you would add an item on the clover dashboard Alrighty, so now that we know how to add an item from the Clover dashboard, let's go into how to add categories and modifier groups. So, as always, we're going to go on the left side under the inventory tab. We're going to click on categories. Now, we're going to hit this big green button that says add category. Now, we're going to put in our category name. Let's go with clothing. Once you have it typed in, make sure you click on done. And now it's going to be listed out. You can see that here. Now that is how you add a category into the Clover dashboard. Now let's talk about something that I personally get a lot of questions from my clients on and up next to clients is AJ, how do I change the order that the categories are listed? By doing this, you click on change layout on the top right corner. And then you can click the A to Z if you want to put it in alphabetical order, or if you just click these two lines right here, you can move the categories up and down, and this will automatically publish to all of your Clover devices as soon as you click on save. There's nothing you have to do on the actual Clover device, whether it's the Mini, Flex, Duo, or Solo. It'll just automatically go in there, just give it a couple settings. So now that we went over how to add a category, change the layout or the order that the categories are in on your device, let's go over to Modifier Groups. Once we click on Modifier Groups under the Inventory tab, we're going to click on Add Modifier Group. Let's name this Modifier Group Shoe Size. The online group name, we also want to match that so it should say shoe size as well. If you would like to add multiple, you can click add. If not, you can just hit that X and then click on done. Now it will take you over to your modifier group section. We're just gonna find our modifier group right here. Click on it. Then you wanna scroll down. So then you wanna put in all of your modifiers. So, oops, sorry, I actually clicked the wrong one. We're gonna go over to shoe size. Then we're gonna click on modifiers here on the bottom click add so the first one let's say size 8 price for the size 8 shoe is $150 or you can leave that price zero totally totally up to you we're gonna leave that price zero for now we have size 8 in there let's go size 9 let's go size 10 so on and so forth you guys get the idea and we click on done now this is super super important for that as well. What you're gonna what you're gonna do is, um, let's say for the shoe size, you do not want your employees to be able to add that item. Let's say that Michael Jordan sneaker for example, and not select the size. So you're gonna click on required. Nope, sorry, we gotta click show upon entry on POS system. Make sure you click save. Then we're gonna click required. One, 
maximum, none, one, two, or three. Alrighty, so now we know how to add items and categories and modifier groups. Let's go over to the next section in the inventory app, which is printer labels. So we're gonna click on printer labels and then we're like always, we are gonna click the big green button on the top left corner that says add label. A printer label is pretty simple. It's just um, you're assigning items to go to a specific printer. So for example, if you have if you are a restaurant and you have um, you have a kitchen printer like an order printer, you need to route specific items to that printer. So in order to do that, we need to create a label. So first we're gonna name the label and that is going to be kitchen. Now, once we name it kitchen, we can go ahead and click done here. So now we go over to our kitchen label that we just made. Now we can start assigning items to this kitchen label. So we click the drop down on items, then click add. Now we can, this is one option we can just go through the entire inventory and just start checking off items that would print out in the kitchen to that label attached to that printer. Once you have your items selected, you can go ahead and click save. Now there is another way to do this. Now let's say if we go over to categories, this is a little cheat code for you guys. So if we go over to categories and we go over to the burger category, for example, you know what? Let's go over to the catering category. We click on uh, catering menu. We hit the drop down for items. And now we select this little box on the top left hand corner right next to where it says item name. Click on bulk edit options. Once you have bulk edit options selected, we can scroll down to printer labels. And we just select kitchen one, click save. Now 25 items, as you can see here, were added to that label. Now just to double check, we go over to printer labels. Then we go over to kitchen one. And now you can see all of our items have been successfully applied to that label. That is how you add labels on the Clover dashboard. All right, guys, now we know how to do items, categories, modifier groups, and printer labels. Let's go to the last option on the inventory side of things on the dashboard, which is revenue classes. Revenue classes, this is really, really great for bars and restaurants where it is important to keep track of liquor sales and food sales and what each, uh, each revenue class, so if it's food, what percentage of my total sales for the day, for the week, for the month, from the year are food and what um, what percentage of my sales are liquor. So I'm going to show you how to set that up now. So we click on revenue classes on the left side and then we click on add revenue class. Now the first thing that it's going to prompt us to do is to put in the revenue class name. Once we put the revenue class name in there, for example food, let's go back, food, we're going to start assigning items to that. So we're just going to go around and we're going to start clicking around. So we add these items to the food revenue class. Now click save. Now that revenue class is set up. So now when you pull up your uh, your end of day report, or if you look at any of your sales reports through Clover, there will be a section added for those revenue classes. So you'll see the percentage of your sales, dollar amount, and the individual amount of sales for each revenue class that you add. So that's today's video. As always, thank you so much for watching the Up Next YouTube channel. Feel free to like and subscribe uh, to the channel, to the video, and of course, follow us on all socials at Up Nexa. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one.